everybody, so CAD software. The problem with choosing CAD software is even in the world of free CAD software, there are a lot of choices out there. And when you ask people for advice, oh, that's difficult as well, because people don't give you advice about you. They give you advice about them. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's the only thing they know. They don't know you. And right now when I'm talking to you, I don't know you. I'm just giving you advice about me when it comes to giving advice. And that's not the same thing as advice that's good for you. So probably the best things you can actually do would be to give you some ideas about what it is to think about when thinking about choosing a free CAD software and some of the options out there to help you decide for yourself which one that it is you're going to want. I suppose the first question is, why do you want CAD software at all? Is it something that you think you should learn or is it something that you want to learn? And why do you want to learn it? Do you plan on designing the next supercar? Do you want a skill that you can take to a future employer? Or do you want to work by yourself or just dip your toes in the sea of design? Working as part of a group and a team are big selling points of some of the more complicated CAD design programs. Anyway, the multitude of free CAD software available presents both a boon and a challenge for users seeking the right tool. And I would say that selecting the most suitable CAD software for your needs means considering various factors, including functionality, ease of use, learning curves, project requirements, and your own ambitions. Anyway, let's begin our tour by thinking about skill level. Let's say you're a beginner level and your familiarity with CAD tools is minimal. Then clearly, Prioritize software with intuitive interfaces, basic tools and tutorials. Look for platforms like Tinkercad or SketchUp Free, which offer simplicity without compromising on essential functionalities. These platforms serve as ideal entry points, fostering creativity and providing a gentle learning curve. If you consider yourself to be the intermediate level, which means you possess a basic understanding of CAD concepts and seek more advanced features and capabilities, then software like FreeCAD or DraftSight caters to this level, offering a balance between complexity and usability. They provide multiple modeling approaches and enhance functionalities to further improve development. And then of course we've got advanced level. For advanced level, comprehensive tools Complex functionalities and advanced features are crucial, and platforms like Fusion 360 and Onshape excel in offering sophisticated design, simulation, and collaboration tools. These software options try to cater to professionals requiring advanced capabilities for complex design tasks and collaborative workflows. Now, sometimes some people will advise you to just bite the bullet Pick the hardest, learn it, and become a CAD draftsman. And that's not bad advice for them, because that's probably what they did, and it worked out for them. In my own experience, though, if a learning curve is too steep, or you just don't need that, what you end up doing is spending your life trying to learn a CAD program, when if you're a maker like me, all you really want to do is make something. So although for some people, Doing that, butting your head against the wall till you learn the program and then you can do great things, that's awesome advice. For people like me who aren't like that, then I like to begin simply, make stuff to encourage myself and then learn as I go. And if that means learning a couple of programs, well, it's no great shakes. I mean, Tinkercad was a piece of cake to learn. It took me an hour. So some of the key considerations for choosing CAD software? Well, one, functionality and features. For beginners, you should prioritize software with basic tools for simple 3D modeling and design. Look for user-friendly interfaces and guided tutorials to ease the learning process. Intermediate users should seek platforms that offer more advanced modeling capabilities, including parametric design, assembly modeling, and simulation features. Versatility and an array of tools become essential at this level. Advanced users requiring software with comprehensive tool sets encompassing CAD, CAM and CAE functionalities. Things like real-time collaboration, complex simulation and precise design control become indispensable. 
2. Ease of use and learning curve. For beginners, simplicity and ease of use are paramount. Look for software with intuitive interfaces, drag and drop functionalities, and guided tutorials to facilitate a smooth learning curve. Intermediate users can explore software with more complex interfaces and tools. A moderate learning curve is acceptable as users at this level are expected to grasp more advanced concepts. Advanced users, while proficient in CAD, seek software that optimizes complex tools without compromising usability. Platforms with extensive functionalities should prioritize user-friendly interfaces and efficient workflows. 3. Project requirements and compatibility. Consider the nature of your projects. Architecture, engineering, product design, mechanical modeling, sculpting, drawing, rendering may require different software capabilities. Ensure the chosen software aligns with your needs. Compatibility with file formats such as DWG or STP or STL or OBJ is crucial for seamless collaboration and file exchange, especially in a professional setting. 4. Community support and resources. What's the availability of tutorials, forums, and online communities that can significantly aid users at all levels? Beginners benefit from extensive support resources, while intermediate and advanced users may require more technical documentation and forums for troubleshooting. And finally, 5. Scalability and future growth. Consider the software's scalability as your skill evolves. Software that accommodates growth from the beginner to the advanced does reduce the need for transition between platforms as proficiency increases, but it's a guidance. It's not a straitjacket. So the ones that stand out for me? Well, for beginners, I would say Tinkercad. It stands out for its simplicity and accessibility. SketchUp Free is another good option, offering an intuitive interface. For intermediate users, well, software like FreeCAD is a versatile platform and DraftSight is brilliant for 2D drafting skills. For more advanced users, then it really has to be something like Fusion 360 or Onshape. So there you go, some of my thoughts on how to go about choosing a CAD software and some recommendations for making that choice. Myself, I started in Tinkercad and found it tremendously useful, but of course my skill level has improved, which is inevitable. There is the argument to change to Fusion 360. I have my own personal ideas about what I'm going to look at when it comes to a different kind of CAD software, and I'm leaning towards Onshape to help with the progression of my journey. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.